Hey guys, hey everyone, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, good twilight, good whatever it is where you are. It's your girl, Twin D, and thank you so much for stopping by the channel, guys. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate you all. You know, I always have to say thank you, all right, because I want to thank you. Sometimes I can't thank you the way I really want to, but at least I can say it. Thank you for always being here, every single one of you guys. Let's jump straight into your message. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, guys. Let's jump into your message. I see how your divine maskings are feeling about you right now. At this very moment that you're thinking about them. So this person that you have on your mind. How are they feeling about you? How is this person feeling about these divine feminines here? Oh my gosh. Happiness. <laughs> I love this one. This person is very happy. You make them happy. They think about you. They smile. This person is... Like making some changes in their life and they're making it with you in mind. This person is thinking about some sort of celebration here. This person is, I'm hearing respect. I was going to say appreciate because it's there on the card. But it's, I'm hearing respect. Learning to respect you. This is what they're thinking about you right now. They're learning to respect you. They respect you more. Than they've ever respected you when you guys first met. Some of these divine masculines, it's like, now that like they're they're looking and they're thinking and like, I never really appreciated this person for who they are. It's a new found respect that they have found in regards to you. Let's see how well these masculines are feeling here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Traveling towards you and we got this message yesterday already. So these divine masculines are definitely thinking about moving towards you, divine feminines. They're thinking about removing the obstacles in their life so that they can move forward. Some of these divine masculines are even thinking about the obstacles that are present in our lives that we can't or we don't have any control over. You know, like all these rules and things that they have nowadays and what you can't do or where you can't travel to and all kind of shit like that. Yeah. So they're thinking about these situations because they want to move towards you. They want to move towards you. Oh, Scorpio. Some of you guys are dealing with a Scorpio. Or they may have Scorpio tendencies or whatever it is about them. Sneaky. <laughs> yeah, being very sneaky. And the Capricorn, not going to stop until they get this done. Not going to stop until they push through and receive their happiness. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, I I'm sorry to cut into your reading. I need your help with something. I, I need to get at least 1,000 subscribers on my TikTok. Twindy222. I want to use that platform to do giveaways and um, not only with readings, but with my, my, my jewelry stuff. I want to use that platform to do the giveaways and also have um, longer conversations and stuff because I, I can't do that here on YouTube. It, it on YouTube here it depends on the length of your videos and what I want to do is gonna take like one hour two hour three hours so I want to be able to do that with you guys so join me over there twindy222 so that I can get to that thousand subscribers so I can do the the free readings and the giveaways that's what I want to do because I notice like when I do my, my lives here, the length of the video, it affects my channel. 
because I normally make shorter videos and the, the lives they go like for an hour and a half and it does affect my channel so I, I, I can't explain it all to you but please guys just go over there subscribe to your girl on there help me get to a thousand so I can start using that platform now back to regular scheduling <laughs> I'm so sorry but I needed to tell you guys that let's see how your masculines are feeling about you right now Wow, there's some misfortune. You're feeling this misfortune, some sad news. Your divine masculine is disappointed within themselves. They're disappointed within themselves in regards to the way that they may have treated you here. Okay, let me get something else on this. Because I'm getting one story, but I'm being told to get more information on this. Give me more on this misfortune and sad news in regards to these divine maskings and what they're thinking about these feminines right now. So now, now tell me how the Three of Cups and the Sun relates to misfortune and bad news <laughs> the misfortune that i get is not on your side divine feminine it is the things that they needed to release to clear they are disappointed with themselves because they realize something here that their entire happiness that they are thinking about right now lies with you it lies with you but some they were hanging on to other things. They were hanging on to other things. And know that you're not around. Know that you're not with them. That's where they get this bad energy from. So this sadness, this sad news. So they're drenched in sadness right now. And it's because they're realizing that they are the ones that created this unhappiness in their lives. The fool. So they are seeing some kind of um, revelation here. That you divine feminines, look in the middle, the lovers. That you divine feminines are definitely this person that you prove to be the only one that they love. Yeah, loves you but hiding it. Oh, my thing is not focused. You are the one that they love but they were hiding it. And it's because of other things in their life and they, they regret it. How else are they feeling about these feminines, please? Too much drama, not interested. So divine feminines, you have... You, it's, it's one energy. You have these divine masculines here who may feel like the situation between you and them is too much. I'm always either going up the hill, down the hill or something. They feel like the situation is too much. Too much for them. Too much drama. You're too much drama. This whole situation is too much drama. And they feel like they don't want to take part in this connection there that's why they will not commit because the way that things are going between you and them right now all they're seeing is just the, the drama like it's too hard they have too much that they have to release they have too much things that they have to let go divine feminine chasing too much i don't have answers it's too much i can't handle it how else are they feeling cancer this came out already. So you may be dealing with a cancer. We have cancer and Scorpio energy here. How is are they feeling, please? Yeah. So you have what? It's two sets that we got here. Those who are definitely ready to travel towards you because they realize and found out that you are their happiness and they were just wasting time before. This person will definitely return. They're thinking of traveling towards you. They're thinking of returning to you. 
Oh my gosh. Yes, the energies are coming out. The energies are coming out. And Capricorn shows up again. That's why I like using this step now. Because it will be more specific. So at least you'll know where the energy is coming from. So you have Scorpio, Cancer, Sagittarius, Capricorn coming out here. The death. See? So some of these divine masculines are thinking right now of ending this connection. Because it's too much. I can't handle it. And look at the side that it came on. The same side where we have that negative energy. So your divine masculines here, they are definitely going through something. Some of these divine masculines too, it's like the way they feel right now, it's very overwhelming and it's because they know they have to put something to an end. Not only the connection with you, but in order to be with you, they have to put the things to an end that they were holding on to. These people are dealing with somebody else. You have new love coming in, new person. And the Ace of Cups. <laughs> look at that. Oh, look what's underneath. Soulmate. So this new love is definitely coming in, Divine Feminines. Your Divine Masculines, well, majority of these Masculines are thinking of coming towards you. They're thinking of coming towards you. What I saw, I saw. Oh, it was the lovers that I saw underneath. See that? They're thinking about this reunion. They, they're thinking of coming towards you. But we have a little bit of them here that are thinking of escaping this connection. And like I, I tell you all the time, everybody wasn't born at the same time. Everyone didn't start the journey at the same time. And everyone has been through this situation where their person think that this connection is too much. Why do you think they block you in the first place? Why do you think they withdraw from you in the first place? Because they don't know what to do. Yeah, the obstacles. And they need to make a choice. And of course, yeah, that's the major issue there. Some of them are settling. Some of them, they're in situations that they know that they're not supposed to be in. And they're thinking about these things. They're thinking. That's what we're looking at. How they think about you. What's going through their mind. They know they need to make a choice with you. And somebody else. And some of them, like I said before, they are settling. They are settling in these situations. So you have some who knows that they are truly not happy. But they are going to settle. They are going to settle because they are not happy. Let's get some truth on this message here. Father God, give me some truth on this message here in regards to how these divine masculines are feeling about their feminines at this very moment that they're watching this message. Okay. <laughs> Let go and move on. Like I said, they're feeling like letting go. They're feeling like moving on. They're feeling like they can't handle this situation. I, look, look, oh my God, I need more time to heal. Third party interference. And the set wants to move away, move in together. This person wants to travel towards you. This person wants to come towards you because they're being constantly being reminded of you. And who you are, you are their sunshine. You are your sunshine. Seeking tarot advice. <laughs> that has been coming out a lot and I like that. Controlled by ego. It's their ego. That they have to put an end to. That ego as well. Seeing synchronicities and signs. Focus on self-growth. So these are my masculines. That's where they need to be. Focusing on their self-growth. That's how they're going to come to the true realization of who you are. Some here has already done that. But you have these little sets here who are not yet at that place. So don't get too upset if this pertains to you. It's just a phase, something that you need to get through. 
Take care of yourselves, everyone. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And of course, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new messages. To purchase your book or a reading, go to twindyflamed.square.site. For your bracelets, your keychains, your bath bombs, your incense, go to twindyholisticboutique.square.site. Let go and let God, everyone. And don't forget to check me out over there on TikTok at twindy222. Subscribe and help you, girl, get to that thousand subscribers. So I can get the ball rolling. All right. Love you all. Oh, oh, yes. I checked it out. That's why I'm asking. Sorry. That's why I'm asking. I cannot do lives unless I have a thousand subscribers or more. So help a girl out. Okay, please. All right. Later, guys. Later. Love you all.